Mary saw that Jesus was not there, Mary went to two disciples. Two disciples come. Now the third one is Peter. Short one is John. And she went to tell them that I've seen something, so I want you to also come and see yourself. So the, the two of you come. Who, who is this one? Who is this one? Peter. And who is this one? John. Now, the Bible says when they started, John was the one to outrun Peter. So whilst you are coming, John, you come first. Yes. Pause. And Peter is behind. But the Bible says when John got there, John only bent over, bent over. But John could not enter. Then Peter came to outrun John and Peter entered. Enter. Listen, it was John who started. But Peter came to do an overtaking. Jesus. On this resurrection morning. Jesus. Oh, you, you've already got the revelation. Jesus. I said on this resurrection morning. Jesus. Anybody who thought they started before you. Jesus. I came to speak to a Peter. Jesus. You are about to make an overtaking anointing. Oh, oh, listen to me. In business, in money, in wealth. South I overtake. I overtake. South I overtake. I overtake. Sit down for one minute. Now listen. So when Peter entered, now look at the verse number eight. So the Bible says, finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. Finally, let me tell you something. Yes, it's good that Peter overtook and entered. But finally, the other person also entered. Let me tell you, you might think you've been delayed. But your finally is also about... Amen. They thought you could not marry. Jesus. By finally, you too. My goodness. Wow. They thought you would never build a house. Jesus. But They thought you can never get the good news, but finally, today I release the grace of finally. Let the grace of finally, finally means at the end of the day, God will come through for you. I speak the anointing of finally. Let it visit you. Let it find you. Let the grace of God find you now. Start finally. Finally.